in this video, I'm going to introduce you to this Lama 2C repository, which has been built and supported by Andres Kaprati and his colleagues. I'll drop the link of this repo in video description too. Now in this video, I'm going to install it and run it to show you how it works and especially the example of inference. This repository, which is Lama 2C repository is a representative of provisioning a minimalistic and comprehensive solution to train and use the Lama 2 language model with PyTorch. It highlights the efficiency of small, fine-tuned models for specific domains. This project uses a single, no dependency C file for inference. Okay, now in order to use this, the first step you need to do is to clone this repository. So go up, click on this drop down grab this link from here and for this purpose i am using aws state maker notebook i already have it created click on op open jupyter lab and you will be presented with this open jupyter lab notebook for this i am using the simple conda python 3 kernel in jupyter uh, notebook so the first step is to get clone and you can either use get clone command or you can simply Click on the left hand side and then clone a repository, give it your link and clone it. So it will clone it and put it here. Let me quickly check where, what is my home directory. So I am here in the SageMaker one, which is correct. Okay. The next step which we need to do is to, um, uh, um, if, is to go into the SageMaker directory then ls and there you go this is our lama 2 c1 now in order to run it first you need to go to this directory ls and we have all of these files from which we just get cloned the first step for this example is to download a 15 million parameter model which uh, Andrej and his team has trained on tiny stories data set and this is the tiny stories data set on your screen which is really cool and I will also drop the link of it in video's description anyway coming back to our uh, notebook the next step we need to do is to download this data set so all you need to do is to just use wget and then url to this and it is very quick in downloading, which is correct. Next thing we need to do is to make this um, C file and then run the um, C code after compiling it. So make run, and this has been very quick. It has compiled it. And then in the next step, I'm going to run the file with that data set, which I have just downloaded. And then once I run it, you'll see the text stream or uh, a sample which run very quickly. So you can see that it has grabbed the stuff from there and then it has run it. Another cool thing is you can even run it with a uh, prompt. So let me quickly share the um, prompt with you. So I'll just, so this is my model. And then you also have to provide the temperature, which is the randomness and also the steps. So I'm just providing the number of steps and now you're from I'll say okay one day Raz met a spider monkey and then it will generate the story for you. Enter and there you go. It has generated a full stack story for you uh, on the basis of that data set. It uh, and number of token per second was 50, which is still quite decent because I'm just running a very simple instance for it. So this is it guys. Um, this is how you can use your own data set with this code. Now, if you go to this repository, Karpati has a very good explanation here. So as you can see, he says that with the code in this repo, you can train the Lama to LLM model from scratch in PyTorch and then export the weights to a binary file and the same binary file, which I just showed you over there, which I downloaded. Uh, there it is. This And then after that, you can uh, use this repo as a full stack train plus inference solution for Lama 2 LLMs. And 
the best thing about it is that you might think that you need many billion parameter LLM to do anything useful, but in fact, very small LLMs can have surprisingly strong performance if you make the domain narrow enough. And this is the key point of this whole repo in this video. So I uh, I will drop the link of everything in video description so that you can play around and read more about it. But heads off to this whole team. Um, there you go. And I think they have done a wonderful job here. I'll be playing around more with it and just share my findings with you. If you like the video, please share your feedback and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.